Welcome to the Christian Nutrition Casual Review. I'm your host, Wesley, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Mary. And this is definitely not our third time trying to record (laughs) this episode. Nope, this is the first. This is not our third. We did not do this twice already and something bad happened technically. So no this, comment. Yeah, no, no comment. Well, thanks. And not, no help backing <laughs> me up. Um, so today uh, we are reviewing the next episode of New Veggie Tales. Episode number seven. Yes, a good godly number. We are reviewing episode seven. We have not discussed this twice previously. <laughs> this is the first time. It is the first time. Oh, the first. I don't even know what the title of the show is. Oh, so let me look okay, it up. Okay, yeah, look it up. <laughs> tip, tap, tip, tap. I'm looking when on the keyboard. When being good means giving up. Wow, that was, well, you search really quick. We're really yeah. fast at Googling uh, mm-hmm. titles. I am. Yeah. Okay, so uh, just before we <laughs> jump into this review, I do want to mention Uh, For the first time ever, I've never mentioned this ever um, in any recording uh, previous to this one or in any other video, but I do have a new YouTube channel called Once Upon an Island. It's all about Survivor, Big Brother, Amazing Race. Uh, If any of those shows interest you, I highly recommend that. I highly recommend that channel. I'm over here tripping over over my words. I'm a mess. Probably because this is our first time recording this episode. Yeah. Is that joke? Get warmed up. I think we've run that joke into the ground. Mm, Maybe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um. Yeah, highly recommend that channel. Uh, go check it out. Even I've had people marry, and you'll be surprised to hear this, who have never watched any of those shows, who have watched my videos, and have commented like, I've never even seen these shows, but I love watching your videos. And I'm like, that's wow. great, but like, watch the show. <laughs> How can you invest this much time? <laughs> it like blows my mind. But it's also really cool because that means that like, my videos stand alone. I'm not over here trying to pump myself up. I'm just like surprised, I guess, more so than anything else by no, it's really cool. seeing those comments. So Good job. I highly encourage people who are like comment like that. I'm like, go watch it. Why would you watch this video? It's not the show. But anyways, all right. So uh, today we are reviewing another VeggieTales episode. Uh, this is, I think, episode three <laughs> of our catching up on shows that we missed in the past. Um, but really, it's episode seven of New Veggie Tales. So, right. what uh, what happens in this episode? What 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 is this episode even about? It's about when being good means giving up. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't even know if we said that in this episode. It's been so many yes, times. We did. Okay, um, good. Yeah. So this episode begins with Larry bursting through the doors, the side doors, the back doors, whatever doors are. Uh, yeah. Whatever the only this, doors the backstage right, are. Probably yeah. to the stage, backstage. Uh, with a, he's just angry. He's upset, and he says he's finished. And so everyone's trying to guess what he's yeah. finished with. And Bob asks if he's finished with coming up with good ideas for the show, which is a lot. Well, hold question. on. Finished with good, coming up with good ideas for the show. Like, oh, Larry's done making good shows and I <laughs> make bad shows. No, I think. Sorry. The word good was my addition. Oh, OK. But I think he said, are you finished coming up with show ideas? Was his. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Because I don't even know if Larry's show ideas ever make it onto the stage. That's but true. I mean, I'm sure there has been. An I'm sure there are. And then Mr. Lunt uh, asked if he's finished trying to grow hair for his hairbrush. Mm, it was a not a great joke. Well, not a great joke. First off, let's think about this joke for a second. Obviously, they're doing it as for the parents watching. Are um, they? Well, that's what <laughs> that's what I was gonna get at. So I don't. So, think so okay, so Larry is having people guess, and Mr. Lunt guesses, "Are you looking for a hairbrush for your hair?" Is that what you said? No, are you finished with trying to grow hair for oh, your hairbrush? Okay. So here we are, twenty-five, possibly more years later, um, making a joke about something. From, it's it's like so long ago. Like we've been through like how many generations of children now? Like two, three, and we're like three generations of kids later. I think sure, that's how it works. But I have kids right now in mm-hmm. my Sunday school class who just watched Joshua and the Big Wall. Yeah. Like they're rewatching old veggies. Yeah. So kids, number one, kids are still watching the old. No, 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 I get that. And number two, it's still a funny joke. Obviously, Harry, Larry yeah, is not gonna. Yeah, but it's definitely hair. meant to be like a wink, wink sure, joke. Sure, it's a wink. And wink my joke. point is that is over this episode, the next two, because uh, we watched these three episodes back to back to back, is that they're gonna do other little nods and references to past episodes like that. And it's like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I get to be fair. I guess all these episodes, I believe, are on Yippee as well. So. Yeah. It just feels like a weird, I don't know. I guess it's the most famous silly song. I mean, if you it, were It's not write, funny is my biggest issue. So it's, then it's when it's not funny, you just like sit and think about why. I think it's not funny because, well, I don't know. It's I not funny because the delivery is not funny. Maybe his delivery wasn't funny. The delivery the joke wasn't itself, funny. It, a, a cucumber growing The joke hair, isn't really like, that weird anymore. 
Why not? Maybe to like a to little it. three-year-old, it's hilarious. I, that's what I'm saying. To someone who maybe had never heard the show the is made for on. me, an adult. It's not made for you. <laughs> I think it's still funny, and kids will probably still find it funny. I don't uh, think we found yeah. it funny because we're like, why are you referencing? Yeah. This? Well, it just wasn't. It ago. wasn't. I don't know. They can do callback jokes. But that's just this one wasn't funny. Anyways, I don't want to harp too long on sure. it. It is something that is going to pop up in these uh, next couple episodes, at least. Yeah, they have a few throwbacks mm-hmm. to some of the old episodes. All right. So, no, Larry is not finished with trying to grow hair for his hairbrush. He is finished with being good. So they ask him to explain. So then he starts talking about this TV show he's been watching. And they can keep I asking tell the story? I would love to tell the story. Sure, go ahead. And tell okay. The story. So Larry is going to the store and he's going to the store to buy... I can't name They make this confusing on purpose. It's some robot, basically, from a TV show that he watches. And he wants to get a toy replica. Because, obviously, the real robot lives on a planet far, far away. That's what he says. So, anyway. So, he's going to the store. And he goes up to the door. And there's another guy there. And so, Larry nicely opens the door for the guy. So, the guy's like, ah, thank you. And this guy's wearing a red hat. That's very important to the very story. Important. Do not forget the red hat. So, anyways, they both go up to the counter, and since the red guy got to enter the store first, he's red a hat guy. Sorry, red hat guy <laughs> gets to enter the line first, and he gets the very last replica toy robot. Larry Hi. is incapable of going to another store. He's incapable of jumping on Amazon and ordering it. No, this is the only store with the replica toys, and this guy in a red hat got it. And he, you know what? He's marked for death now by Larry because Larry says he's going bad. He says, being good did not pay off. I opened that door and this guy took the last toy. He took it right under my nose and now I'm going bad. And they even do like a camera angle. It's low underneath Larry and there's like lightning. And it's like, yes, Larry's going evil. It's a true turn. He's going to become a Sith Lord in VeggieTales. I was looking. I was ready. Yeah, it was. It my was body was ready. Looking to be a promising episode. Why are you giving me a weird look? Just, People can't see that look, comment. but it's a weird look. What? My body was ready. My body for was Nintendo. ready for Larry to become a Sith Lord. I'm referencing a Nintendo joke. It's kick ass. I don't. Don't okay. sweat it. <laughs> anyway, Mary doesn't get references. I don't get all your references. You don't get any references. The hairbrush joke. You're like Wesley. What is that? What are they even talking no, about? <laughs> I'm joking. I knew that joke before you knew that. Joke. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Anyway, so surprisingly. Uh, well, of course, this is a problem, and everyone's like, "No, Larry, you." you oh yeah, Larry, good, no, good you have to be good. Yeah. Do we have any letters that might help? And Petunia, of course, has a letter that she's the letter lady. She is the letter lady. Yep. It used to be Bob. Now it's Petunia. No, it's always been Petunia. Dude, well, sorry, no, I'm talking about the OG show. show. Yeah, yeah sure. it was okay. Bob who always had the letter. Now Petunia's Sometimes letter lady. Letter lady. Anyway, letter she has lady. a letter um, from a kid who's mm-hmm. in a school. And someone in his school is always mean and pushes people around and is cuts in line and all that stuff. But he always wins games on the playground. He always gets dessert in the lunchroom. Basically, despite cutting a line and cheating at games, he still gets what he wants with no consequences. Right. And so this kid is really frustrated that he's always nice and good, but he doesn't always win games or he doesn't always get dessert. And so he's just asking why. Mary why was confused good? by the dessert thing because she's like, wouldn't all kids at the school get the same dessert? And uh, Mary, and if I could pat her on the head, I would, oh is a goodness. poor homeschooled child I'm not a poor who never child. experienced the pain and suffering of standing in line, getting your I will say, pizza I, that's cut like a square. I have done student teaching in a public school and I went through the lunch line. A few times when I didn't bring. Yeah, lunch. as a teacher, yeah. <laughs> that's different. As a teacher, you have prestige, you have power, no. you can rule with an iron fist. For us little public school children like myself, you Aww. stand in the line, you get your terrible square pizza, you get your terrible instant mashed potatoes, you get your terrible soggy vegetables, and then it's finally time to get the one thing you want, and it's the dessert. And you get there, and oops, today everyone wanted dessert. Some days everyone doesn't want the dessert, today they did, and you get nothing. And you know what? Your lunch still costs the same amount of money, whether you have dessert or not. That's sad. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure. I I, I asked in one of our previous recordings previous. why he wouldn't No, those don't exist. This is the first one. Sorry. I asked Wesley <laughs> why uh, why he didn't also get dessert. Like, was yeah. this kid stealing from him? Did I miss something? No. And then he explained that, no, they yeah. don't always get dessert. Just, I like, oh, I, they okay. just make a predetermined number of desserts. I mean, basically. as a homeschooler, we do not get dessert every day. So. Well, mm. it's not about dessert every day. I think it's more about um, the, the same amount of food. 
because sure. the dessert's part of the number, you know, the amount of food you get, especially for kids who go and I'm sure are on low income and stuff. It's not like you get like priority in line for that or anything. Gotcha. It's just like the way it works. So having one of the later lunch times is always like a risk because it's like you want to be, you don't want to eat too early where it's like I'm eating lunch at like 1030, but then you also don't want to be, I'm eating lunch at 1231 o'clock because that's probably when the dessert's going to be gone. Gotcha. So yeah, you want to get those middle Okay, well times. I think we spent a lot of time on the. No, this is very important. System. We should spend a whole hour talking about the lunches. No, so, anyways, so this kid also has the same problem as Larry. Be nice, mm-hmm. does not get you what you want. Basically. So surprisingly, usually you know, Paul Grape has an, a story. Mm-hmm. Sometimes Petunia or Bob has a story. Yeah. But today, Mr. Lunt has the answer. Which to instantly the problem. made me glad. I'm like, Mr. Lunt's gonna have a weird idea. Yes. It was promising. So we are no, excited to see good. what Mr. Lunt is good. So I he just one. says, I have the answer. I know what it is. Jerry, Archibald, Larry, get out on stage. Mm-hmm. So, of course, they go out on stage and never know what they're going to do. Oh, yeah. They're just showing they up and it. somehow without a paper in their non-existent hands, yeah. they know what to say. They know what to say. But it is pretty funny. So Mr. Lunt basically narrates what Larry just went through, through, through a musical. Mm-hmm. So they have a musical song where Larry goes to the store. He lets the red hat guy in. Um, he sees the robot. They have this connection, but Mr. Red Hat yeah. gets it. Um, but then at the end, instead well, of... Well, hold on. Jerry's all dressed up like Janky. Yes. He's a Jerry Janky is robot. The robot. He's it's like duct tape. Cardboard and, box oh, yeah. with duct tape. He's like red Zolo cups attached yes. to his forehead. It's it's a Janky cardboard. It's obviously a fake it's robot. very fun. Yeah. Very reminiscent of when Jimmy and Jerry had cut out cardboards of Bob and Larry yes. to me. One of the best openings yes. of any VeggieTales episode. But... It was fun. It was, they really, they yeah. could have done a little robot, but instead they had. They could have trashed in South Dakota. That would have helped. But uh, sure. I guess this isn't, we're not calling back all the we're episodes right now. not calling back everything. Well, I'll bet you though, in a future new, <laughs> in a future new VeggieTales episode, if they trash on one state, I'm, I'm ready for it. Just don't You're do South Dakota. Pre, pre-call that. Yeah. If they're going to do it again, pick another state. Pick a different state. I'm all, f- I'm all, f- do North Dakota this time. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. Anyway, so through musical form, which the music was pretty good, although this is, we were talking about how they, yeah. they've been doing some callbacks. It seems like Archibald's very first line mm-hmm. sounded a lot like, Sing my it. name is Darius, yep. that much is true. Mm. Da, 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 no, no, da, I think da, it's da, my, da, da. my, what is it? I uh, am Dean Darius. There dun, we go. Dun, that much is true. Dun, dun. It's the Im- important part to do the dun dun in between. Okay, well, that <laughs> they didn't have the dun dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It was just... Whatever Red Hat guy's name was. Yeah. My name is da da da. Well, and then I think on. during the song, Larry names, names him Frank. But I uh, I'm not I don't sure. remember. Also, we said this in a past recording and we should have mentioned it here. What? No, this is the only recording. Um, at the beginning of the episode, Larry bursts through the doors. And I'm kind of wondering if somebody could be oh so gracious on and uh, check all. I think so far we have. I think we have 11 or 12 episodes. I'm not sure. However many episodes there are of New Veggie Tales. If somebody could go and check. How many times does someone burst through the door at the beginning of the episode? Beginning of the episode. I'm over here tripping over Because it feels like a lot. Because it feels like it's every time. I know it's not because I want to say twice they start in Mr. Nose's office. But I feel like when they're not starting Mr. Nose's office, somebody bursts in through the door. I could We could be wrong. Could be it like doesn't three. always happen. But no. it feels like, I mean, three out of the seven that we watch feels like a lot. for some Yeah. Reason, you know. Seven so far. Yeah. Right. Anyway, so... Okay, sorry, that was the beginning of episode. Yes, you, you, you we're interrupted here. my And now Mr. Thought. Lent's like, oh, actually, okay. do you want a real robot? Well, no, no, no. He no. said, he said you can still be nice and get what you want. Yeah. Here's a robot call. Call your it's robot It's like a robot whistle or like a dog whistle <laughs> yes. to get dogs to come. Yeah. Yeah, it's a robot one. So, which didn't make sense because... Well, not until he used now it. He's, now he's stealing. No, he used the robot call, and his <laughs> robot came back to him. Jerry, yeah. dressed up as a robot, came back, and they sing their little ending song about uh-huh. how they're best friends, which is cute, but what about Archibald? Like, he mm-hmm. just... What about Red Hat Guy? Whatever. Who cares about Red Hat Guy? He lost his... I mean, that's not being nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. True. <laughs> but... So they get to sing their little song about friendship, but then... Real mm-hmm. robots show up with glowing yes. red eyes. Probably and about half the height of like Larry, I would say, to be yeah. clear. Because we said J- Jerry was a robot. Now these are like toy robots. These are like these are toy robots, yeah. but they're very menacing. And they chase Larry out of the out of the stage. Out of the backstage, out of the playhouse. Out of stage, yeah. out of everything. Yeah. So they, they're chasing him, he's running away. Mr. Lynch saying, Just keep running, their batteries will run out eventually. 
And, and then he's like, oh, wait, if you go into the river. Head for the river, Larry. It, yeah, head for, head for the river. <laughs> well, hopefully he doesn't see it. A guy in a van down by the river. But anyways, head for the river because robots robots can't swim. Yeah. So river, that river. was pretty funny. It was a pretty funny uh, prelude to the real story. Oh. And which, of course, Pa Grape has the real story. Yes. Um, the real story is a Bible story or a parable, excuse me, set in the Old West. And again, they reuse Okie Dokie Growl. This is very similar to Little Joe and Mo and the Big Exit. Minus cowboy jokes. Well, minus a lot of things. I mean, yeah. when the curtain opens, you're like, oh, Little Joe, because yeah. there's... Little Joe. Okay, Corral, there's sheep, there's a big house in the background, but it's a stage set and it never changes. Mm-hmm. So it, that's all you ever see. Yeah. So you don't see a town, you don't see tumbleweeds, no. you know, it's, yeah. it, it is Western This is how they Western make stage. an this episode is what they do a month, though. They yeah. have to do it like that, so... I, I mean, I, I get it. it. makes sense. And as long as the story is good, I'm mm-hmm. fine with simple staging. Yeah. Simple what, animation. I feel like in uh, the, it's either the next episode or the episode after where they like, even though it's a set on stage, they like keep changing out the yeah. sets during the show. And I kind of like that more. Um, obviously, it, it takes more work, but <laughs> I'm just here for a good show. So, it yeah, when they just sit with like one set, it, it it's okay. I just wish there was like more changes made to the what sure. we see on stage and at least for the set and i get that they're not i'm not expecting like a thunderstorm or anything but you know well they could do a thunderstorm I mean, but it'd have to be like a stage thunderstorm obviously. yeah, well, yeah. Well, and we can we can talk about that when we get to that episode but all i'm saying is even though the stage is very simple sure they probably could have done some more as long as their story is good i i'm okay with it Anyway, so the story was the parable about the rich man who his barns are full, his land is full, and he thinks he has everything. And no one has names. They say that very explicitly multiple times. It's a parable. It's a parable. No No one has names. Um, But Larry, who plays the rich man, he sings this little song about how everything's full and the cows sing with him. And the song he sings is, Oh, Little Joe. No, it's not. Oh, that's very disappointing. Yeah. It was a a different song. It was Western style. Mm. Um, But the cows sing along with him, which was cute. And then Junior comes and he has this beat up Stetson and he says he has no food. Dude, or no Junior land. came and sang the song. And do you remember? I just paused the episode. I'm like, we can just end yes, it here. Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> we can just turn it off. Uh, thankfully, Junior didn't become the main character all of a sudden, though. Well, no. So uh, Larry says, no, he has no extra food for him. He has nothing he can give him. Mm-hmm. He says, you can stay for dinner if you want, but I'm not going to feed you with my food. You have to bring your own food. And Junior's like, uh, that sounds harsh. I, I it was more like this. Food. He was like, so do you want to have like Darren together? Uh, you know, I'm not going to give you food, obviously, but if you want to like, you know, bring your own That's food. still really hard. I, well, I know, but the way Larry says it, it sure, well, it sure, is hard. Larry. But the way you said it was like, you can bring your own food. But it's like, no, it was like Larry's like trying to like sing song it. But no, it, it really is just like. Yeah, that's uh, almost worse. Though. I'm not giving <laughs> you. Well, maybe. I'm happy and great and everything's yeah. fine with me. Everything is awesome, for you. but only for Larry. Yeah, exactly. Um, then, ba- so of course, Junior's like, "No, I don't have any oh, food." I'm poor. And turns and leaves. Then and Bob I, the Tomato comes out. That was a happy ending for me, but we had yeah. to continue the episode. Bob the Tomato comes out and is like, "Larry, I have great news." Well, he didn't say Larry, but Rancher, I have great news. Whatever he says. Yeah. Uh, your your cows have had lots of cows this year. We have more cows than we know what to do with your barns. The cows are-, are really reproducing. Yeah, your barns uh. are full. <laughs> Of grain and food, and and we don't have enough room in the barns. And Larry's like, yes, that is great news. Woo! And Bob's like, so why don't we give some of this extra food to your neighbors who, who have nothing? Who have nothing? And Larry's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I need all this food. I need it for myself. Larry's like, why don't we gainfully employ them to build me a bigger barn? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. And Bob's like, but what are you going to do with this food? It's just, it can't fit in the barn. So then Larry was like, well, we could have all the neighbors come over. And Bob's like, yes. Yes. And he goes, and they could tear down my old barn and build a new barn. Yeah. And Bob's like, oh, okay. So Larry makes the same offer to Bob. I, he here's, my, here's my confusion, though. Is is he gainfully employing them I by paying know. them to do this? And it's not clarified. And I don't know why. Some of the VeggieTales episodes have like this like little hint of paying people to do work is no bueno. And there's only one other episode I can think of. And don't even quote me on this. I remember there was one episode where I'm like, what is this message? But this time, no, by the way, by the way, I want to circle back. I do agree that with all this excess, for sure, Larry should be giving it away. Like, 
we should be sharing. Right. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, there yeah. is nothing I'm wrong not, with I am it. not arguing that overall point. It is weird, though, when he's like, why don't I have them come over and build me a new barn? That it's like, that's a bad idea. It's like, actually, that is a good idea. Larry's going to pay them to do work. But also, he could give them... Like he give them his all his excess sure. stuff anyways. Yeah. It could be like, why not both? And it's like, no, you just give them stuff. Don't employ them. And I'm like, <laughs> that it's is a, a very confusing message, message to me. Yes. I get it. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I am totally for him giving like, like what the show is saying, but it acts like yeah. him having them come over and build him a bigger barn. It's a bad thing. Like uh, he's paying them to do work. That's a good thing. It's probably why they're poor. They don't have work. So anyways. Yeah. It probably would have been better if he just said, I'm going to build a bigger barn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you he know. said, I'll just build a bigger barn, yeah. that would be okay. But then when he's like, I'll have them come over and have them build yeah. me a bigger barn, it's like, that's the, good too. <laughs> the cost of the joke for the, I'll have them come over and yeah. Bob get happy, yeah. I don't think it was worth it. It was definitely, they were trying to do, they were more for the joke yeah. than for the actual message. But that's the first thing I thought. Yeah. And I'm not even like looking for it. It was things. a little confusing. Yeah. But anyways, so uh, right before the intermission, Larry sits down to his huge dinner all by himself and he sings his little song about how he has everything. And then Pod Grape's narrating and he said, but little does he know, you know, what's going to happen next or whatever. And Larry's like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what's going to happen next? next? And oh, well, we're going call. to Curtin. Yep. <laughs> that was pretty funny. They just went to Curtin and Larry's yeah. like thinking like, what, 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 what? Then Mr. Lunt does mm-hmm. a, would you call an it a silly An advertisement, I'd call it. It's a, yeah, it's basically an advertisement for his robot whistle. Yes. And this whole segment was really funny. Mm-hmm. Um, so Jerry's in his kitchen, mm-hmm. not being a robot, just being Jerry. And uh, well, Jimmy is sorry, in Sorry, Jimmy, kitchen. my apologies. Jimmy's in his kitchen. And he's like, oh, man, I have so many things that need to be done. I, I what, did, he, did he ask for a robot or did Mr. Lunt just show up and offer He just him? said, I need help. And yeah. Then, yeah. And Mr. Lunt says, hello there, friend. <laughs> and he basically says, for $12, you can have this whistle that will bring you robots. And he's like, would you like robots? He's like, yes. He's like, good. You'll get robots and more. <laughs> <laughs> and so Jimmy blows the whistle. The same robots from earlier show up that chase Larry into the river. And this time <laughs> he's like, oh, no, the robots are ruining everything. After he gave them like a shopping list and stuff. And they did not get his groceries by the way right. it was very disappointing no pizza or nothing no so anyways mr lunt's like oh well i have the solution it's a robot repellent and it looks kind of like a grenade it kind of looks like a grenade till you open it and just like spray stuff everywhere and it repels like the robot bomb and he's like 13 dollars. so basically <laughs> mr lunt introduced the problem for 12 dollars, <laughs> and then introduced the solution for 13 and mr lunt made 25 dollars at the end of the day yes for basically well, ruining jimmy's kitchen jimmy with kept saying can i pay you tomorrow can i pay you tomorrow? yeah i don't so. i didn't get the can i pay you tomorrow part but mr lunt did say yes yeah. which is a fool's game get your money then yeah. mr lunt get your money then anyways it was pretty funny yeah. it was a it was a funny answer yes it was it was it was like that one time in like episode two of real of no, sorry original veg shells where they did like the the liomatic or what was it called? Oh yeah, you remember that? It's I like do remember that. it was kind of along those lines. Like it's not a silly song, but it's like an in between thing. Or you're right, I don't fibomatic know. maybe. I forgot what it was called. Maybe it wasn't fibomatic. It I'm also sure makes Julian fries, right? <laughs> yeah, as well like Junior and yeah, it was the whole thing. Yeah. It was if people know what I'm talking about. Please yeah. don't lambast me for not remembering it exactly. <laughs> it's been a few years. It's, it's been, been since I made time. the review that I've watched the episode. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so it was a good, it was a good intro. That was fun. Uh huh. Uh, so then we cut back to the main story, mm-hmm. and Podgrape says his exact same line. And this time, Larry gets up and is like talking to Podgrape. Yeah. You know, completely breaking the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, breaking character. Breaking character. So in the Bible story, the rich man just dies, yeah. and that's that's it. He, he dies, and he doesn't get to enjoy friend. any of his stuff that he saved up Mm -hmm. so i was wondering how they're going to handle that but in this the angel comes down and tells him pizza angel please come it's a cowboy angel oh it's cowboy angel so he comes down and basically tells him you're not going to get to enjoy any of this you're not going to live forever uh this was your last chance and you're gonna die hello and larry's like what i didn't know can i have a second chance please and the angel because in the bible doesn't go to he double hockey sticks I'm pretty sure that's how it wow. happens in the Bible. That's pretty mean. I mean, it just says he dies. I mean, fair enough. He, if he asked if he wasn't 
Is this this is Jesus's time? Is it Jesus a parable? Well, it's a Jesus. parable, so I guess yeah, it, it's not. Some parables yeah. talk about the person going to hell, sure. but this parable just Didn't says really he dies. Specify. Yeah, yeah. I got um, the angel turns to Podgrape and says, "Are we allowed to do this?" And Podgrape said, "Well, it's not in the Bible, but neither are I think he said neither are cows or, or something like that." And so they allow Larry to have a second chance. So they basically redo the whole thing. They st- it's like the day starts over. Junior comes over, but instead of him telling him to go away, he shares with him. Bob, mm-hmm. Bob comes up and says, your barns are full. And he's like, great, let's share with our neighbors. And so, it, you know, quickly he has a happy ending. And it was good. It was, again, we talked about like the simple stage, but I thought the songs were pretty good. I liked the storyline and I did like the Western theme. Overall, the episode's an eight out of 10 for me. Yeah. And they ended the episode with, instead hey. of just... What's your rating? You can't well, I was. I, w- I want to make sure I didn't forget this. Oh, okay. At the end of the episode, uh, a cowboy angel comes down, and they're like, oh, it's a cowboy angel with a verse. And I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I'm just so not, over the angel falling pro- from the ceiling, giving them a fortune cookie verse. It, well, this it time Bob didn't even... It was not funny the even, first time, or maybe it was slightly, but it's just not funny since. It's not. It has never been funny. No. But it's but supposed to be. At this point, Bob has just accepted it, it seems like, because he was almost like, oh... It's Cowboy Angel. I don't know why, and I can't put my finger on it. Maybe I could with a deep analysis, but QWERTY always worked for me. Yes. But for like some that. reason, the P as a cow, as an angel doesn't no. work. And it's not, know, funny. It's not funny. I think maybe because it's intended to be funny, whereas QWERTY wasn't always... It's like if QWERTY had a funny moment, it was like, oh, I didn't expect that. Like, that was funny. But otherwise, like, it's QWERTY. But the angel is meant to be funny, and it's just not. So every time it's like, oh, here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. I did remember. I don't want to ruin every single good thing that's in this show. So no, ruin it. I just I thought it was hilarious that sorry this was back in the parable when the angel comes down to tell Larry he's going to die. He, he says you're gonna have an uh, unfortunate accident involving a goat and a pasta maker. And I just thought that was pretty funny. That's not funny. It was really funny. That was not. Anyways, I not. I also liked this episode. I thought it was pretty good. I'd probably give it an eight out of ten. Also. Great. Well, I'm glad we agree on our scores. This was a solid this one episode. Time. Doesn't uh, if you mean. subscribe to Yippee, this is definitely one we recommend watching. Yeah. Uh, which is a streaming service. In case anyone was wondering at the very end of this episode where to watch us at, that's where it's at. So uh, what are we reviewing next time? What is the next episode? Uh, the next episode is called Little Things Matter. Oh, great. It's probably about Junior. All right. All right. Well, the show's over. No more episodes ever again. Bye, everybody. <laughs>